In this video, I'm going to be going over Backrooms Level 16, aka Altered Topography. This level is extremely weird and environmentally dangerous, so if that sounds cool, if that piques your interest, stick around for the explanation. But first, I think you should check out my second channel. You know, it's a fun time over there. We're aiming for 50k subs. Now, let's get into it. The level entry for level 16 starts with a warning screen that reads, the updated database entry for this level is unavailable. Would you like to search for an older entry? And then it searches for offline backups and it finds two files. Now file one is dated 610 and file two is dated 912, but neither show what year they were dated. So I'll just start with the first file. File one opens up as the first part of this level and it has a survival difficulty of zero and it's safe, secure, and no entities. Now this section of the level looks like a rainforest type ecosystem with fields and rolling hills where it's slightly overcast and foggy at all times. The level's rainforests are a lot like real life rainforests, but with one big difference, gravity. Obviously, here in real life, gravity keeps us to the ground, right? We can't fly or jump high. But in this part of level 16, the gravity is much less strong, which means you can jump higher and slightly float but it doesn't have any effect on the wildlife or fauna here. There's not even a known reason why this happens, it just does. So, go with it. There's actually no day or night cycle here in this part, and it's constantly at a dawn time, and it hovers around 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 degrees Celsius at almost all times. But the next sentence of the entry says, Was our level key wrong? We've already been here. But the key seemed to change direction. Everything looks different than what they reported. And you'll see why they said that in the second part of the level in the second file. But for the rest of file one, there's no bases or outposts, even though theoretically it would be possible to set one up here, but there's no consistent way of entering the level, so there's no point. The only semi-consistent way of entering this section would be to get on level 75 and touch a liquid metal, which will take you here. You can also leave this section of the level by climbing a tree to get to level 46. But yeah, that was the end of the first file, the one from 610, and the guy writing this file notices that something is off because the level key they used to get here changed how it looked and changed directions, and he says that this level had supposedly already been found, so when he went there again, it looked different, which is weird. And that's why it's altered topography, because it changes. So now for file two, which was that one discovered on 912, it's classified as a class undetermined because it's got really weird properties and some unknown info about it. And it's just unstable in general. This part of level 16 looks like an Arctic climate, pretty similar to the ones from real life, except the snow and ice on the ground here is more reflective than in real life. So it's almost like a mirror, which would make it extremely bright. And this part of the level also has a day night cycle, the first part didn't, and the cycle takes 13 hours for a full day night. The temperature here can be anywhere from 40 degrees to mid 50 degrees, even though there's snow on the ground. I'm not sure how that works, but oh well. There actually are some entities here, but it's very rare, and the main one is called the Light Guides, which are also in the Crimson Forest, and they just float around and glow and are harmless. However, there are no bases here, and you couldn't put one here if you wanted to because of the layout constantly changing of the level. It changes all the time in this specific part. And here's what the author of these two files has to say, quote, don't stay here when the environment shifts. Glaciers jut out of the ground, soaring high into the sky. Rivers suddenly begin to gush out of boulders. The landscape begins to freeze over, causing the air to chill. Small orbs begin to surround us, almost as if a warning. If you aren't careful, you can become encased within the changing terrain. I made it out with only frostbite and a few scrapes. Others weren't so lucky. Nice! Now to enter this frozen part of level 16, you can find an orange patch on level 75 and touch it, and there are a couple of other unconfirmed entrances that don't work every time, so no point in trying them. And the exit of this part of the level changes with every alteration in geography, but each time that exit will send you to level 46. As of right now, the exit is standing on top of an ice sheet covered in sand and it'll send you to level 46. But like I said, it's not always gonna be that way. To end the entry, the author says, quote, wish we knew that before entering. Walked into a rainforest, walked out of a tundra. Pretty cool.
So yeah, that was the craziness of level 16. It's pretty cool how it constantly changes from a rainforest to a tundra to boulders to rivers, you know, pretty unique. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and help me get to 500k so I can buy the backroom's pants. You know what you gotta do. And also, go check out my second channel because we're aiming for 50k over there. I mean, come on. You know, it's cool. We're vibing over there. Thank you for watching and supporting. I love you all. I will see you in the next video, which is over. Backroom's level 17. Peace, and I'll see you then.